Paul Mariner will always be an Ipswich Town football club legend. He was an integral part of Bobby Robson's squad that won the FA Cup in 1978 and the UEFA Cup in 1981. Yet Mariner started his career in non-league with Chorley, a club close to his Lancashire roots. And it wasn't long before his strong style of play and goal scoring caught the attention of big clubs, league clubs, in this case Plymouth Argyle, for whom he signed in 1973. So began an impressive scoring record with the Devon club, 56 goals in 130 appearances over a three year period. He was attracting suitors, none more so than Bobby Robson, who was beginning to rebuild Ipswich Town once more as he looked to take the Blues, who had just missed out on FA Cup and League glories, to the next level. West Brom and West Ham were also interested in the dynamic, strong front runner, but Robson, as so often, got his man. Paul Mariner joined Ipswich Town in 1976 for a club record fee of £220,000, with John Padelty and Terry Austin moving in the opposite direction as part of the deal. Mariner made his town debut in September 1976 and was to go on to prove to be one of, if not the best ever number nines Ipswich Town have ever had. He was capable of taking hard knocks, rough treatment, while also scoring his fair share of goals, both with his feet and his head. He was skillful. He created his own chances, a leader on the pitch, a focal point on the pitch. He was pivotal to the success of Robson's team, who was set to have so much success in those coming seasons. Such was Mara's impact at Portman Road that within just six months of joining Ipswich Town, he made his England debut as a substitute in a 5-0 win over Luxembourg at Wembley. And he played from the beginning in the following game against Northern Ireland in the home championships at Windsor Park, Belfast. He was to go on to win 35 England caps and score 13 goals, and he played in the 1982 World Cup Finals in Spain. But back in Suffolk, Town had won the FA Cup in 1978, Mariner hitting the bar as Robson's team beat Arsenal 1-0 at Wembley in front of 100,000 fans. Roger Osborne, the Town goal-scoring hero that day, Mariner played a huge part. Ipswich's league position that 77-78 season was a lowly 18th. It was the only season in 10 years they finished out of the top six. A remarkable record. Back at Portman Road, Robson continued to build his squad. Dutchman Franz Tyson Arnold Muir and complemented a dynamic midfield trio alongside John Walker's town gun for European success. And Mariner was a key player as Ipswich swept, almost swept all before them to win the UEFA Cup in 1981. It was a dream victory, the UEFA Cup for Robson town fans and the impeccable Ipswich team that had come so close to winning three trophies that season. Mariner was one of eight of Robson's squad who played more than 55 games that campaign. Robson had left town to take up the England post, but Mar Mariner was still part of his plans with the England setup. However, at Portman Road, Ipswich's young and exciting, dynamic squad was beginning to age and was broken up. Mariner signing for Arsenal in February 1984 for 150,000. His spell at Arsenal lasted two seasons before a move to Portsmouth and finally a move to the American Soccer League. He got involved in coaching, returned to England to manage Plymouth in 2009, before moving as director of player development for Toronto two years later, where he also became head coach. But his football career was, was coming to an end. Although he did become a broadcaster and worked for ESPN for many years. Sadly, Paul Mariner died of brain cancer at the age of 68 in July, 2021. For Ipswich Town fans, he was a player who embellished all that was so positive and great about Bobby Robson's FA Cup and UEFA Cup winning teams, an era that's remembered by so many and has never been re replicated since. To his teammates, he was a leader. To Ipswich Town fans, he was simply a great player. We'd walk a million miles for one of your goals, Paul Mariner. They used to sing at Portman Road as another one of his great goals went in. Paul Mariner was inducted into Towns Hall of Fame in 2011, having played 342 games and scored more than 130 goals in all competitions. He was without doubt one of the greatest ever players to wear the Ipswich Town shirt. And Paul Mariner Day at Portman Road against Plymouth couldn't be more fitting for such a wonderful player. <laughs>